Hello everyone! It's been a minute, but God has been giving me words, um, encouragements, a lot of things to help us continue to build as God is continuing to bring us higher. So, <laughs> basically, there's been this shift. Well, there's going to be a bigger shift, but... God's getting ready to do something big, and we have to be prepared for it. And he's been preparing me with these words on the subject of he, him doing something big. Um, you know, it's time to move, get ready, get ready, get ready, stuff like that, you know, to prepare us. Because, you know, God doesn't want to just leave us out in the dirt. He wants us to know what he's getting ready to do. And basically... I feel like we just have to continue to prepare ourselves and ready ourselves. God's given us time, and I feel like we got to use it wisely. So, I just wanted to give you all the word that God gave me. Um, but let's go ahead and pray. Lord God, I thank you for this opportunity. I thank you for this chance. I pray which is your children, Lord. I pray it helps them and it teaches them, Lord. I pray it all goes the way you want it to go, Lord. I pray it heals them. I pray it encourages them. And I pray that at the end of the day, if there's anyone out there that doesn't even know you, come see you, Lord. And I thank you, Lord, for it all. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen, amen, amen. All right. So, the word for today is being left behind. Now, I think we kind of get the gift of where I'm going, especially if you're on YouTube a lot and you see like these rapture dream videos or, you know, something else in that category. Well, this is what basically what it's on. It's a it's on the subject of when Jesus returns um, and the people who are going to be left behind. OK, let's keep it clear from the beginning for anyone who doesn't really know God. God doesn't want to leave any of his children behind from the beginning, from the start. God doesn't want to leave nobody behind. Simply because of the fact that he loves us too much to not at least give us a chance. That's why he sent his son. So we can ask for forgiveness and repent and get another opportunity before Jesus returns. And basically he gave me this word on the people who were going to be left behind. Well, not really the exact people who are going to be left behind, but it's talking on the subject of being left. Why you're being left. Why are you being left? Why, um, why some people, they think that God, like, why would God want to torture me? I thought he said he loved me. Stuff like that. God giving you opportunities. And if you continuously sin or you continuously to continue to do whatever you're doing that you know is against the word of God, you can't expect god to not be judgmental because god is a jealous god and you can't say you serve him and you're doing the works of the devil you got to choose one either one and god has to give me the word being left behind simply because of the fact that he doesn't want us to he wants us to go with him whenever jesus returns whenever you hear that trumpet blow for the last time he wants us all to go with him. The dead will raise. He wants us all to go with him as one, as Jesus, because we'll all be like him. But just some people are not going to go. Some people are just not going to go, and that's what I want to prevent. That's what God is using us to prevent that from happening, because he wants every one of his children to go. So let's get into what, I, what God gave me to write down for this specific uh, topic message people of God you do not want to be left behind God is reaching reaching more closer to us he wants us to be ready and aware of Jesus's return and God doesn't want to leave anyone behind but to have all of his children so let's not so let's not be left behind today all right we can't be left behind 
and God wants us to be ready to God wants us to be aware because it says that Jesus is gonna come by the, like a thief in the night instant it's gonna be like it's gonna be like out of nowhere like on a typical day a typical day maybe your mama's gonna go to work your dad's going to work whatever you're asleep or you're getting ready to go to school it might happen then you just don't you you I can't really give you an exact example because we it can happen right now as I'm speaking to you you just don't know you just don't know and that's why it's important that we continue to live a life for God. Not for man, not for the devil. We got to live a life for God because we just don't know when that instant is going to come. We just don't know when that blink of, blink of an eye is going to come. We just don't know. So that's why it's best to be prepared before then. So we'll be aware that he's coming. We don't know the hour. We don't know the date. We don't know the second, but just we're aware that he's coming and we're ready even though he's yet readying us every single day all right and the scripture that i actually got for for this was first thessalonians chapter 4 verse 13 through 18 so um this basically talks about what's gonna happen and why god doesn't want us to worry and you know about things of the world because we're not going to be here forever people die every day and i'm not just talking about death but like i said the rapture jesus jesus is returning and we just don't got the time we don't got the time to you know worry so god gives give me gave me first thessalonians chapter 4 verse 13 through 18 that's the first one and i'm going to give you the second one whenever uh we're done with the first one all right so let's all stay in for the reading of the word please Alright, so the word reads, and this is, like I said, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 13 through 28, I mean, oh, sorry, through 18. Brothers and sisters, we do not, we do not want you to be uninformed about those who sleep in death, so that you do not grieve like the rest of mankind who have no hope. For we believe that Jesus died and rose again, and so we believe that God will bring with Jesus, those who have fallen asleep in him. According to the Lord's word, we tell you that we we who are still alive, we are living to the coming of the Lord. We'll, cert we'll certainly not perceive those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a cloud command, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet call of God. And the dead in Christ will rise first. After that, we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will be with the Lord forever. Therefore, encourage one another with these words. Basically, this part of the scripture is talking about how, but it's encouraging me. It's encouraging God's people that we're not going to be here forever. We're not going to be on this earth forever. God doesn't, God doesn't want us to be upset about death. God doesn't want us to be worried about any of those problems because Jesus is going to return and we're going to be at peace. We're going to be we're going to be made whole again. We ought to be made whole again day to day, every single day, the more we see God. And God wants us to continue to be made whole. And whenever he returns, we're just going to be completely like him. And that's what God wants from us. So it's important that we realize that we're not going to be here forever and that Jesus is going to return and we're going to be just set free from any worries. Well, we're already being set free. The more you trust and have faith in God and you have hope in God, you don't have to worry about any of these things because you know for a fact that you're going to see your family again. And you know that what's important is the fact that you continue to do the works of God. You continue to live for God and don't live for any other God but God. And, um... So you got to read the word, stay in the word, be encouraged by the word. Um, just be encouraged, be encouraged. Don't be, don't, don't let this world fool you. Always be encouraged. Always be encouraged. Don't let nothing fool you. Always be encouraged and always listen to the word. Don't listen to nothing else. Oh, also listen to God's voice, God's voice, Jesus' voice, the word. But do not listen to any other thing that tries to push you against the word. Because any other thing that tries to push you against the word is a lie. It's a trick from Satan. And Satan don't want the best for you from the beginning. So do I. don't dwell on that. Dwell on the word. The, the word will help you much more than what Satan will. So that's why it's important that we stay in the word and not 
on what people say, Satan says, his demons say, all this little stuff, all this little, these lies. That's why we got to stay where we are, where God wants us to be. And my next scripture will be First, uh, First Corinthians chapter fifteen, verse fifteen and fifty-two. Okay. It says, I declare to you, brothers and sisters, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does the perishable inherit the imperishable. Nor, nor does the perishable inherit the imperishable. Listen, I tell you a mystery. We will not all sleep, but we will all be changed in a flash, in a twinkling, twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. All right. You guys, all the people who are believers, everyone who believes in God and live the life for God, obey God, you know, that's what it's basically saying that it's declaring that we basically, similar to what Girl just said, basically, it's talking about how in the twinkling of an eye, we'll all be changed. Once Jesus returns, we'll all be like him. And like, we'll all be made like him. All the believers, all the people who trust in God, obey God, will all become like Jesus. So that's basically what it's saying. Um, The dead will raise, like I said, it, it, it was in there too. The dead will raise at the last trumpet. And basically, it's encouraging us during the moment of the rapture and Jesus' return that we'll all be made like Jesus. And who doesn't want to be made like Jesus? Being made like Jesus is what we're striving for. Being made like Jesus is what we're meant to be because we're all God's children. And you know, God and God sent Jesus. He was pure. He died. And he died for our sins and everything. But God still, God wants us to be like him. God wants us to be in his image you know and that's why it's important that we repent get in order everything so we can prepare to be like jesus um and that's all god wants for us he wants us to live a life for him he wants us to give us the glory he wants us to give him the glory he wants us to just continue to be motivated and encouraged and listen to his words in the in the scriptures the scriptures that he blessed us with to help us through this walk and faith and we have to continue to have faith we have to have faith in jesus so we can continue to live a godly lifestyle um and that's all that's important and that's what god wants us to realize that's what god wants us to stay focused on that we have to walk by faith we have to continue to obey god and keep striving for god so whenever he returns we won't be left behind That's why it's important for us to know these things so we won't be left behind. And we and we so we can be made like Jesus. So that's why it's important um, that we keep striving and keep going for God. Once we keep going for God, we're going to go higher and higher and higher. Because um, we want to be with Jesus. We don't want to be with nobody else. We don't want to be with nobody else. And that's why it's important that we just keep striving and keep pushing so we can be with Jesus. All right, so that was my word, my scriptures for today's topic or message. All right, so I think you kind of got the gist of what I was saying. How we don't got to be discouraged about anything and how Jesus is coming back and how that's all that's important and that we got to keep going and we got to keep pushing. And we gotta live, continue to live life for God, so we don't, so we don't be left behind. And when Jesus returns in a twinkling of an eye, because of our obedience, we can be made in, made in His image. And that's what all we want. All all God's believers want is to be made in His image, to continue to be obedient, and just to live forever and eternally with Him. So let's not be left behind. Today. My first key point for today is be ready. Like I said, as in the beginning of this message, is God wants us to be ready. God wants us to be prepared for his, his son's return. When we're ready, that means that whenever that day does come, we won't be started in fear because we know we did something wrong. But, we, but instead, we'll be ready because we know that we've been obedient. And we know that it's just time. It's time because God's timing is always the right timing. And God knows when to come. And 
God wants us to be be ready for that. God wants us to know that he's coming and not to be so far back in last season. And let's start moving forward into the now so we can be ready for, like I said, his return. Next key point is be aware. Basically, it's similar to the first one, but you're more like being aware is that like you're aware that out of nowhere the trumpets can come you're aware that you can see all out of nowhere or instantly you can see a cloud coming down with the lord jesus christ you're aware of these things when you're aware of something you know like you're you're aware that these things shall occur and it's best to be aware than to be lost so let's all be aware today. Let's all be aware of everything that is going to take place that God has in store. So it's important that we just stay aware. We stay uh, of knowledge, which God will give us. And we stay in the word. We have to stay in the word. We have to stay where God wants us to be. We have to stay right there. We can't move. We have to stay right there. And that's all that's important. As long as we stay right, as long as we stay right there, it'll all be okay. It'll all work out. And we just gotta be aware as well. Be ready, and we gotta be aware. And um, the next one would be, it, and the next one is simply do not be left behind. Be ready. Be aware. Do not be left behind. Just, just don't. Keep fighting, keep pushing for God. Keep living a life for God. Just keep and just keep going. Keep pushing, keep thriving for God. That's all he wants is for you to thrive for him. That's all he wants is for you to push for him. That's all he wants. And when you do that, you will be honored for that. He's going to take you home with him. You ain't staying down here. And God doesn't want us to be left behind, as I said. God doesn't want us to be stuck here on earth, having to deal with these issues, having to deal with all this. God wants us to be with him. God wants us to be around him. God, know, God knows these things. And that's why he's trying to push us and help us get what we have to be. So, we have to not be left behind. And we have to be ready. And we have to be aware. And, like I said, we just cannot be left behind. Especially right now in these times. It's just time for us to get where we got to be. And it's time for us to get back to God. And it's time for us to strive for God and keep pushing for God. And as we continue to do that, the more closer we get to him, the more spiritually ready we are. Um, that's all that's really important is for us to just get ready, be ready, and just stay where God wants us to be. Just stay where God wants us to be. Because all that matters is just staying where God wants us to be. And at the end of the day, God loves us, and he's trying to help us, and he wants to teach us. He wants to be there for us so he can get the glory out of it. Not just for the glory, but simply because of the fact that he also just really loves us and doesn't want us to see us tortured or doesn't want us to see us going through issues like that. He wants us to be at peace. He wants us to be in love. He wants us to be just full of happiness and joy that's the good of life the good things in life are only created by god and that's what god wants us to stay focused at stay st uh, steady on and that's all that god really wants us to do is to just be ready and don't be left behind and you guys just know that God loves you so much. A lot. Like, a lot, a lot. And that he's doing this to teach you and to help you and to build you. And he 
he wants to show you the way. So continue to walk in the way and continue to walk by faith. The closer you get to God, the more amazing it is. Trust me. The closer you get to God, the more amazing it is. And that's all God wants. It's for you to get closer to him. That is all God wants is for you to get closer to him. The closer you get, the more amazing it is. And to end it off, it says, Today is another chance to be ready and get closer with God. Take this chance today to be ready and get closer to God. Take it today. Take this chance today to be ready and get closer to God. That's all that matters. That's all that's important. Nothing else matters. Push everything else to the side. Take today to be ready. Take today to get closer to God. I'm going to turn it back. There's no more rewinding. Let's move forward. Let's use this day to day. Let's use this opportunity to get to God. Let's do it today. Lord, I thank you for this opportunity that you bless me with your children, Lord. And I just pray that whoever's out there who doesn't know you or just wants to get right with you, I pray that it happens in Jesus' name. I pray that they get what they need from you, Lord. I pray that they, they get the encouragement, the love they need. I pray that they get the help they need. I pray they be obedient towards your commands, Lord. I pray they continue to live. I pray they live in the world, live by your word, Lord, and not by, not by anything else. I pray they live by faith and not by sight. I pray healing. I pray I pray, I pray, pray that they have um no fear but a sound mind. And I pray peace over their lives. I pray peace over their family's life. I pray happiness over their whole entire generation. I just pray everything but nothing but greatness, Lord, upon them. I pray that they receive this word. I pray they get this word. I pray everything comes to pass how it's supposed to be, how you want it to be, Lord God. I pray the Holy Spirit stays with them right now, Lord. I pray that all comes, just all comes out to pass, Lord. I just pray that you're there. I pray that you continue to be there for them. I pray they live by the spirit and not by and not by their flesh and not by their emotions. I pray they live by faith and not by sight. Hey, I pray they live by, continue to read the word and be motivated by the word and keep going, keep striving for you, keep pushing for you for your glory. I just pray it all works out how you want it to be, Lord. I pray for the healing upon them. I pray for strength upon them. I pray for protection and covering upon them, Lord. I pray for wisdom and knowledge, Lord. And I thank you for everything that you blessed them with, Lord. And I'm just so very grateful to have you as a father. And I thank you for covering them with your fathership, Lord. I thank you for making sure that they are right, Lord. I thank you for providing everything for them, Lord. I thank you for just being such a great God towards them. I just thank you, Lord, for just being everything that you are and more for them. I'm just so very grateful, Lord, for everything that you've done for them. They, we don't deserve nothing, but yet you still do it for it because you love us. And I'm just so very thankful for it all. And I'm just, again, Lord, so very thankful. You can't be more thankful enough huh, for everything that you've done for us all, Lord. And I'm so just so thankful for it, huh, you all. And we shall win these spiritual battles. We shall fight her. Huh, we shall use our authority. And we shall go where we have to be, Lord. Huh, and we shall do what we're supposed to do, Lord. Huh, and I thank you, Lord, for it all. Because no one else but you can do this for, Lord. Huh, nothing else can do it but you, God. Huh, and I thank you, Lord, for everything that you're doing right now. And the things that you're getting ready to do. Huh, and I'm just so very thankful, Lord. Because no one could do it else but you, Lord. Huh, and I'm just so thankful, Lord, to have you as a father. As a friend. As a companion. Everything I need and more. I thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray. I pray that this word encouraged you. I pray this word taught you something. I pray this word helps you extremely. I pray that this word is just more than anything to you. And it helps you get where you're supposed to be with God. It helps you reach where you're, where you're supposed to be now on earth to help other people as well and reach them and just share the word. Um... And I thank you, Lord, for it all. In Jesus' name as well. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 And I cannot wait to see you in the next video.